Compliment of the season. My name is Pastor St. Kevin Abbas. And you're welcome to the Blind Truth. Well, I just want to make you understand that every battle has its size. You must know your size of battle. Size your battle very well before you engage. If that battle is not yours, please avoid it. There are some battles that are oversized battles. There are some battles that if God did not approve it, run away. You see, when David was anointed king, the Bible says the Philistine, they came to sort him, not to honor him, but just to kill him. And as powerful as David, the Bible said he ran into his stronghold. And as powerful as David, at any time he wants to go to go for battle, he will always inquire of the Lord, either to go for that battle or not. So not all battles that you are meant to fight. In the book of Joshua 9, verses 15, when the, the, the Gibeonites, when they heard that Joshua was destroying all kinds of cities, Jericho, Ai, and all the rest of them, they came in the seats and then they struck a covenant with Joshua to leave, even though they were working under Israel. And God honored that covenant because that covenant was made in the name of God. Many years passed in the days of David. In 2 Samuel 21, when you read from, 20, from 1 down to 5, there was famine in Israel for three years. And David, a man who always go to seek God, said, Lord, what is this? Why is this happening? Thank God he could require and then God now told him, he said, it is because of what Saul did. That is why this famine is happening. If he had not inquired of the Lord, he would have remained there under the famine. He would have prayed to God. He would have, it would make him look like God is not powerful. Why? God is a covenant keeping God. There are some battles that are too strong for you because you don't know the covenant that person you are fighting is practicing. There are some people, their covenant with God is higher than what you think. So if it is not your battle, avoid it. Pick your size of battle and make sure God approves it. When David heard that it was because of what Saul did, if you read that place very well, that part of it, he said because of the zeal of Saul, his zeal to please the children of Israel, that was why. He made that mistake of killing the Gibeonites. He almost wiped them out. And David said, what should I do? They said, well, David, we don't need your gold and silver. We don't need money from you. We just need seven children, seven sons from Saul's house. He's the one that did this evil, so we need his children. Look, the Gibeonites were very small people, as mighty as Israel, because they were in covenant. You can't defeat the Gibeonite because of covenant. Pick your battles, please. Not all battles are yours, regardless of the size. So granted their witch, and then they brought seven or so children. You see, this life, your sin might be personal, but the consequence will never be personal. Those source children that didn't commit any offense, their father's problem brought them out and they were all killed. If not that Mephibosheth, the son of uh, Jonathan, who was in covenant, David had a covenant with Saul's son, Jonathan, and his son, Mephibosheth, and one of his other ones, is crippled. If not for the covenant he'd have with them, they would have also submitted them. They were exempted because of the covenant that David had with Jonathan. So Mephibosheth and the other one, two of them, so we are spared. Bind yourself by covenant and avoid covenant practitioners. Don't fight them. You might lose, you will lose the battle before even starting. Until they hung those people, according to the records of the Gibeonites, there was no peace in Israel. 
Be careful of the battles that you are fighting. We are about entering a new year now. Some of the problems some of us are facing is as a result of what some persons did in the family. What father, mother, brother did in the family that is rubbing on some of us. So please, as we are entering the new year, let your senses be high and let your covenant altar and your covenant practice with God service your covenant altar afresh. Very important. I will talk about that more in my other video. But please, I just did this video to tell you that not all fight is your fight. Every battle comes with a size. Know your size. Know your size. If you fight a battle that is not your size, the outcome will not be good. Even though God will be powerful, you will be watching because you are fighting wrongly. I just felt that you put this there as you are in this stressful period. Please be careful. Once again, my name is Pastor St. Kevin Abbas. Thank you for your time and God bless you.